All right then gang, so imagine now we've coded up a view app right here and we want to now build it for production and then deploy it. Now I'm gonna be showing you how to deploy this to Firebase, but you could deploy it to whatever server that you wish. So first things first, you need to go to Firebase to sign up for a free account. So go to firebase.google.com and sign up for a free account. Then you wanna to go to your console and this is gonna list out all of your different projects. You're gonna see I've got a few already, but we'll add another project and I'm gonna call this NN for NetNinja, then view-cli-3. All right, so now I just want to accept this down here and then create project. So this might just take 20 seconds or something like that to create a project, but once it's done, it's gonna redirect you to the project dashboard where we can start to set up hosting. So let's click on continue. And if we now go to hosting, we can see that we have this get started button. So let's click that. So the first thing you need to do is install Firebase tools on your computer, obviously. So to do that, we say npm install hyphen G Firebase tools. I've already done that, so I don't need to run that. Then if you're not already logged in, make sure you're logged in. We say Firebase login. That's gonna probably throw up a pop-up so you can log in using your Firebase credentials that you've just created to create an account over here. Then once you've logged in, we can initialize our project using Firebase init. And we need to make sure we're in the correct directory when we do this. We do this inside our project directory. Okay, so let's say Firebase init like so and this is going to initialize our firebase project for us locally so it's making sure that i want to proceed i'm going to say yes and then we need to choose which features we actually need now the only thing we need is hosting because i'm not using any other firebase feature right here so i'll just select hosting using spacebar then press enter now it's asking me for a project over here now remember this one is called NN view CLI 3 so I'm going to select that one that's where we're ultimately going to be deploying to so I'm going to select that one you select the one you've created and now it's saying what do you want to use as your public directory now this step's important when we build an app for production using view CLI 3 it's automatically going to create a bundle for us to deploy and put that in a folder called dist so this dist folder this is the stuff that we want to deploy to Firebase. Now the default folder that Firebase deploys is called public. We want to change this. I'm going to call this dist. So it's going to look into our files over here and deploy the dist folder instead. Okay. So press enter. Do we want to configure this as a single page app? Well, yeah, we do want to do that. Press enter. And now it's initialized that project. So you're going to see this Firebase file over here, right? So that's a sign that it's initialized our project locally you're going to also notice this dist folder right here now we've not built anything with view yet but firebase is going to head and created this folder for us and put in a dummy html file now when we use the build tool using view it's going to override this stuff right here it's going to create its own dist folder and override everything that's inside it so we don't need to worry about this whatever we get after building our uh, project that is what we're going to deploy okay so then how do we actually build this application for deployment? Well, if we go down to package.json, then scroll up to these different scripts. We've seen this one and we've seen this one, server lint, we've yet to use this one, build. So all we need to say is npm run build, and that's gonna build our app for production and place everything inside a dist folder by default. So let's do that, npm run build, build like so hit enter okay so now we can see that the build is complete and the disk directory is ready to be deployed so view now has built this application for us and put everything we need to deploy inside this disk folder and it's overridden as well the index.html file that was created by firebase okay so we have our css in here we have any images the JavaScript bundle, which is the bulk of our application, and the index file and the fav icon. So this stuff, this is what we now need to deploy to Firebase. So the way we do that is by saying Firebase deploy, 
and we could just press enter but we're only interested in the hosting side of things so we can say only hosting like so so if we press enter now it's going to take this application and it's going to deploy it to firebase in particular this project right here so that might just take a minute and then when it's done if we go over here and refresh then we should see that deployment right here on this page okay so now we can see this and this is the url we go to to visit that application so if i click on this then we should see it in the browser and this is the application that we just deployed so that's how simple it is to deploy with vue cli version 3 and firebase